example 1.7 is a six mark uh, question it is to solve the two equations here x plus y equal to 3 and 2x plus 3y equal to 8 by matrix inversion method so first step for this what we have to do is write these two equations in the form of a matrix so just take, take the coordinates of x and y so if I take the first equation it is 1 1 if I take the second equation it is 2 and 3 right so these coordinates when multiplied with x and y will give me 3 and 8 right so you can just try multiplying this matrix and this matrix you will get x plus y equal to 3 and 2x plus 3y equal to 8 so this is nothing but matrix A this I can take it as x and this I can take it as B so it becomes AX equal to B now I have to find out x that is x and y here right so x will be equal to when A goes to this side it will become A inverse B right so this is what we have to do this is matrix inversion method so x is equal to A inverse B so we already know, already know what B is so we have to find out A inverse A inverse for a 2 cross 2 matrix is very easy to find so let's start straight away so as usual we have two steps step 1 find the cofactor and step 2 do the transpose right always remember these two steps for finding the adjoint of any matrix and then after we find the adjoint the formula for A inverse is 1 by mod A into adjoint of A and also we have to ensure that mod A is not equal to 0 right so let's get to do that first so mod A is nothing but this into this minus this into this so 1 into 3 minus 1 into 2 3 minus 2 is 1 so since it's not 0 we can proceed to find the adjoint so what is the adjoint of matrix A so let's write the cofactors first so Aij will be so cofactor of 1 when we hide the corresponding row and column we get 3 cofactor of the next one when we hide the row and column we get 2 cofactor of 2 when we hide the row and column we get 1 and cofactor of 3 here when we hide the corresponding row and column we get 1 As we always say that diagonally opposite elements in a 2 cross 2 cofactored matrix will have the same sign. So this will become plus and this will become negative. Right? Now to find the adjoint of A, take the transpose of this. So adjoint of A is equal to Aij transpose which is equal to 3 minus 2 minus 1, 1. Row becomes column the column obviously becomes a row now when I have to find out A inverse it is nothing but we know the formula 1 by mod A into adjoint of A but mod A was already 1 therefore A inverse can be the same as adjoint of A 3 minus 1 minus 2 1 right now to find X we know that X is nothing but A inverse into B right therefore we write x is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 2 1 into b what was b matrix 3 and 8 right so we will just write it down here 3 and 8 now this is very plain matrix multiplication 
3 into 3 9 minus 1 into 8 plus minus 1 into 8 so which is 9 minus 8 1 the next one is minus next row is minus 2 into 3 minus 6 plus 8 right which is 2 therefore you get we get x is equal to 1 and 2 right therefore and we knew that x matrix was nothing but x and y right therefore x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 so we have solved this using matrix inversion method so the only thing that you should remember is when two equations are given simultaneous equations are given write x the coordinates of x and y in a matrix multiply that with x and y and the resultant matrix you mark it as b therefore you write a x equal to b now we have to find out x therefore when a goes to the other side it becomes a inverse so that's why we are solving this these simultaneous equations by matrix inversion method okay so this is a easy six mark grab